I remember that night, uh, the school sent an email to the entire student body that we were gonna have a prayer night. I remember going to that and I felt so much peace. Uh, at that moment, I called it an annoying peace because I felt angry that I had this peace in my heart. I felt guilty that I had this peace in my heart, but it was there. And I really felt like it was the Father's hand. It was Him telling me, I'm here. I haven't left you. And that was the first time I would say, God felt like a father to me. Hey, my name is David Steves. Uh, I was born in Istanbul, Turkey in 1997. Yeah, my childhood was interesting. Um, I, my mother loved Jesus uh, and I had a dad, but was he really a father? Not really, to be honest. Um, my mom and dad separated when I was six. Uh, my mom brought me to Canada. We came together for, for a new life, a uh, new start, fresh start. Uh, she was a prayer warrior. Um, she's taught me so much about what I know of, of Jesus today. I knew God maybe as the God of the universe, you know, this celestial thing. I remember hearing the whole thing about God being a father to the fatherless. And I knew he did miracles, I knew he loved me, but a father? My second year of college, going into my junior year, actually, um, I got a girlfriend. I remember her uh, being just so true to herself uh, and somebody that truly loved Jesus. and. I knew that's what I wanted uh, in a partner. Thursday, March 15th, 2018, um, about one, one o'clock in the afternoon, I remember I was walking towards my dorm room uh, after a workout and my phone rang. Uh, it was from Amelia's sister. She said Amelia was in a car accident. She told me that she died, and I didn't know how to react. I've just never felt, I've just never felt so many emotions rush in at one time. Um, I remember that night, uh, the school sent an email to the entire student body that we were gonna have a prayer night. I remember going to that, and still feeling all those emotions. But one thing in my heart really stood out to me, I felt so much peace. Uh, at that moment, I called it an annoying peace because I didn't want to feel peace. I felt, I felt angry that I had this peace in my heart. I felt guilty that I had this peace in my heart. I didn't want peace in my heart at that moment, but it was there. It was him telling me, I'm here. You can grieve, you can cry, you can be angry, you can ask those hard questions, but I'm here, I'm beside you. I haven't left you. The largest chunk of my healing was God being my father and me being his son feeling like a son, feeling carried through, um, and really feeling that inside of me was what really got me through. September 18th, 2022, my first Sunday at Rose, uh, Vision Sunday. Pastor Mark was preaching about God's vision for the church, and I remember him saying this one quote, and I wrote it in my notebook, uh, he said his vision is to have every single person have him rested in them. And I went back to 2018 and I remember that peace that was rested in me. And
and I knew how much I wanted that for other people because I knew how much that piece made God, this big God, feel so close. One thing that was said to me so much when I was going through that grieving process was weeping may last through the night, but joy comes in the morning. I said to myself, it's because I'm mourning. However, now I kind of look back at that moment and, and I picture it in my mind of me crying through the night. But having a good father, when the sun comes up, when the sun rises, walk through my door, wake me up, say, hey, son. And me just being reminded of how good it is to wake up in the arms of the Father.